It is now 10.03. We are here in my kitchen because we are about to undertake an experiment which uh, I have actually never had the need to attempt before because I do usually have all of my data backed up in two separate places. So this is a Seagate Free Agent GoFlex. It's the one I unboxed a while back. This is a one terabyte drive. And um, <clears throat> what I normally use it for is, is a steam drive. I just run it off USB 3 or PowerD SATA, depending what's on my test bench. And then I keep all my Steam games on it, and I run Steam right off this drive so that I don't have to worry about reinstalling it and copying files around all, all the time. So that's fine. That's all fine and good. Because I keep a backup of it on my home server with all the Steam games. So that's, that's done. That's taken care of. What I didn't have backed up when this drive decided to die on me was a bunch of footage that I had decided to move from my work PC to home so I could archive it on my home server. So I have about a hundred gigs of video files on here that I would really like to get off. So what happened is the drive died on me and um, my cat is in the garbage. Please don't. Thank you. Hey, go on. Okay, so my drive decided to die on me and I would really like to get that footage. It's not essential, but it would be great to have. So we are going to be... Hey, go on. We're going to be doing a guide for resurrecting a dead drive. So the first thing is I'm going to unplug the interface cable from it. I'm going to put it inside an anti-static bag. This part is not actually like necessary, but it's not bad as a due diligence thing to do. So this particular drive, the Ziploc freezer bag by the way, this particular drive, the problem appears to be that it's not spinning. Once it's got power, I can hear it making little noises inside but the disk does not spin. If the drive spins, it is quite unlikely that this method will work. So this drive doesn't spin, so we are going to try the freezer method. I'm going to freeze it for a couple hours. So it's 10 o'clock now. I'm going to come back around midnight, and then I'm going to attempt to power it up and read the data off it. This can sometimes recover drives for 20 to 30 minutes, but other times it does not work. So I would love to be able to pull my data off, and I will let you guys know how this goes. Just give me a moment here. Okay, I'm just going to put that in the freezer there. Do, 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 do. Let's find a good place to put it. Maybe I'll put it here on the meat. No, I'm not going to put it on the meat. I'm going to put it with the frozen peas. So hopefully it'll uh, cool down a little faster. Let's put the corn here. There we go. It's packed in there somewhat. And I will be back in two hours, and we'll attempt to get some data off my drive. Okay guys, time for the acid test. It's, uh, well, you can't really see that, but it's one o'clock in the morning, and I'm pretty tired, but I figure an extra hour is probably not gonna hurt my chances here. The drive feels quite cold. Just in the kitchen right now. I'm gonna run and grab my interface cable. Back upstairs. Alright. Close that. Heading up the stairs. Probably gonna find a cat or two on the way. There's one. Aha! There's another one. Looking at the, uh, the mouse aquarium. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on this computer here, and at some point my camera will decide to focus. We're going to open up this drive, take out the Ziploc bag, and I'm just going to leave it in the anti-static bag. I mean, if there's anything we can do to uh, lessen the likelihood of condensation forming on the drive, it's probably a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and plug that interface cable in. Okay. Let's come, oops. Let's come around to the side of the computer here. Well, I'm going to plug that into USB 3 in order to enable as high a possible transmission speed here. And let's see if it gets detected. 
So I haven't pre-tested this or anything. I have no idea if this is going to work. Free agent? No way. Oh no, that's... Oh man. I got my hopes up, but that's the restored one from my uh, home server. So... It looks like it's not detected. Well, that's a real disappointment. All right, well, thanks for checking out this inquisitive episode of Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. One last update. The drive now appears to be detected. I pulled it out of the uh, GoFlex housing, and it's now just a bare drive. It's one terabyte free play, as you can see. It's a thick two and a half inch drive. However, if I go to the properties of the drive, and look for any volumes, it would appear that there are none. So, it's hooped.